This is an example for lesson three, which focuses on actually putting a little bit more detail in the draft, um, checking on the evidence and looking at the flow of the draft and whether it's achieving the purpose as well as doing some initial editing. This again focuses on teen anger management group and <clears throat> rather than read for this lesson this entire report, I'm recommending that you download the document that has the report in it and then notice some things about it. First of all, there's some comments in the report that, um, you know, evaluate some of the content and, and talk about some of the things that I was trying to accomplish or not or haven't accomplished yet in terms of this report. It's helpful to compare this report to the initial draft that we did in uh, Writing Lab 2. Notice what's changed or improved. Notice the additional detail that came from the literature. And notice that there are some parts that still need more work in editing. This is not meant to be a final report. None of the uh, writing labs are meant to be a final report. They're just to give you some ideas about the process for writing. This report still needs quite a bit of work in order to uh, make it more persuasive and uh, get all the points needed in order to uh, make a good uh, case for having this uh, teen anger management group. You might want to assess the title of the report. It's Anger Management Groups Can Reduce Teen Violence. Uh, the title was chosen to communicate the topic as well as at least imply the purpose of the report. Um, it might be able to be stronger. And um, I still have to think about is reducing teen violence the most important goal of anger management groups? And does the rest of my uh, report really focus on that? And uh, that may be something to consider in terms of the title. Note the examples from the first paragraph. Starting with examples of angry teens, which are taken from internet news reports, in his attempt to, is an attempt to engage the reader, to about, talk about very real issues that will be um, addressed by this particular intervention. Notice that the uh, CDC statistics changed. The original stats came from a Puskar et al. citation of the CDC. Looking for the original CDC report, I discovered an updated stats. And this is what I changed and then used the updated report as the citation. This shows you the importance of not just using a citation from uh, another author's work, but identifying, uh, finding the original yourself or, or finding an update of the original, which can be a better citation for you. Simple headings were used to organize the report. They were basically teen anger in a section that talked about it, anger management, which talked about the programs for anger management, and then recommendations about what the report was going to recommend occur in terms of providing an anger management group for this community. Notice that there were a lot of additional details that were added in this draft. A description of several factors influencing teens' aggressive and violent behavior, as well as a description of anger management interventions that tended to focus on cognitive behavioral as well as social development issues. Uh, by looking through some of the articles about this, I was able to identify some more specifics about how the types of um, exercises and the types of interventions that were used in these groups, and that strengthens the, uh, uh, and makes it easier to understand what is needed in terms of this group. Notice how the report communicates the writer's analysis. The writer describes how many factors influence teen anger and then later, the writer explains 
that this means that, different, that anger management would need to address these different influences. The writer's synthesis of several anger management programs suggests that combining cognitive behavioral and social development interventions would be beneficial. Uh, certainly the writer chose these particular um, articles and put them together and showed how the effectiveness seemed to be helpful for both of them. And so the kind of the implication is that the writer is going to suggest that uh, this needs to be uh, put together both these types of approaches. Notice that this draft includes correct citations and references. The initial draft included only enough information in the citation so that the writer could identify the source. Um, this draft tries to actually uh, correctly format citations and to use a matching reference list which was actually copied from the literature table in order to uh, kind of be a, go a little bit more along and have a more finished product, even though it's not a final uh, report yet. So that's the example. There may be other things you can learn from just looking at it in a little bit more detail from the handout. Review what you learned from this lesson as well as lesson three, and um, then Go to Writing Lab 3 and practice this with your own topic.